Hello everyone, this is Lolly. Today we are going to talk about craft regret. Those impulse buys or those buys that weren't necessarily impulsive, but they were purchases that you made because it was a popular item. You saw it all over YouTube. You saw it all over Instagram. Everyone loved it. Why shouldn't you, right? So as I share one huge craft regret that I have, we will also discuss some of the other things that members of my Lollipalooza peeps group have discussed as their big craft regret. Are you ready? Okay, this is a no judgment zone, folks. Feel free to be open about your purchases. So this is mine, and that is the Gorgeous Girls Collections. I mean, I just went off the deep end and spent and just kept purchasing and they were popular they were super popular at a particular time and i just i just purchased everything gorgeous girls and i really didn't craft enough with them to justify buying all of this they came out with these minis i don't even know what you would call them um, but these are all stamps. I'm turning it at an angle so they don't slide up in the book. Well, this is really hard to finagle. Okay, so you'll see they're all numbered. They have a stamp and uh, it, some of them have a collector's card like right there, which also helps showing you how to color them. So you have Ruby, New Heights, The Pretend Friend, and Forget Me Not. And then the back of that is a beautiful artistic paper okay and you can see i don't have number five ladybird but i do have i found my family in a book the wise rabbit and i love you little rabbit i give you my heart perfect love brought me love and on top of the world fairy lights little red the black star don't have this one i got all of these the Fox, Poppy Wood, Holly, and The Getaway. Now, so it's almost a complete set, but they came out with more sets, I believe. So it's been so long, boy, this doesn't even turn well. It's been so long that I haven't even researched more about the new sets, but I have some of the stamps for the new ones, but I don't have this these papers in order to put it in here. So let's set that aside. Did you think that was all? Oh, no, it's not. I got this really cute mug that set, that's the little mouse on the shoulder, little mouse with the cheese right there. I have a box full of other Santoro Gorgeous Girls. So this one is a full-size one. It's just called The Getaway. So some of these I have in the minis, this one. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, look at the little bird. I just need to do it. Bluebird's Proposal. I love the teacup, and I definitely have made things with this one. And this one is Sweet Tea. I need to get them out. Now, just because they're in these packages doesn't mean I haven't used them. They're in there because this is how I've been storing them. So just to, just to show you. And this one is Dear Apple. Okay, and this one, I have used that one for sure. And this one is Little Fishes. So some of these I've used, some I haven't. Cute little fox one. Then it's called a The Fox. New Heights. A Washed. And then there is this, which is their seals, you know, like you would put on an envelope or something. And it's just called Mini Rubber Stamps 12 Pieces, it doesn't say. So it's like several of them, like little fishes, um, several of the images there. And they make little seals. But I know I have not used that. Now this one is one of the minis, but I don't know. Little Hearts. See, this is one of the ones that I don't have a card for. Now, interesting, this is a pen case, and I did take the pen out, and I don't know where it is. And these, never used these, frames. And this is a die set, large die, 
to make this little girl and the birdhouse. And there it says it's coordinating papers in here. It just says birds of a feather. Now, I don't know if that even goes along with a stamp set. And this one, same thing. It, it cuts and embosses, and it is called Fly Away With Me. Now, look at all this stuff. See, the point is, yes, I've used some of it, but not nearly even half of what I have. And they're cute, and I look at them, and I think, oh, but I do want to do that someday. But what is it about collecting so much that we might use someday? Do we ever get around to it? Some of the things that the members of our group have said that they have bought that they regret was a disc camera because, you know, if you use that for your images, it was years ago. Um, Julie Nutting dolls stamps. Now I have maybe one or two. And like, here's an example. I have this one. I'm okay with this one. I'm just not as big of a fan. And even though they were super popular, I just didn't warm up to the actual design. I, l I think the idea of having the doll that you could dress up was brilliant, but there were so many like pointy elbows and pointy knees, pointy uh, ankles, and it's just some odd drawing that I just wasn't, just never warmed up to. Here's something else I'm gonna show you, and we'll leave that here while we're talking. Other people in the group said, Project Life Cards were their big regret. Some said pan pastels, alcohol inks, stamping in general. Some people just don't like stamping. Uh, grab bags, I did that once and I said never again. I saw these really awesome videos on Michael's grab bags where they were getting rid of inventory and you could get a grab bag for five bucks and it was worth all this money and they would open them and they were so cool. Mine never had grab bags and so finally they had one and I was so excited and I got, I think, two grab bags and they were all the same thing in there and they were these thick um, felt-ish, fake felt, thick leaves, like fall leaves, orange, yellow, brown. They were all the same thing. I mean, how many of those can you possibly use? So I was so regretful of buying that. Um, quilling kits are another thing people have mentioned. Uh, hole punches, it, people bought them and didn't use them. Craft subscriptions, here's a big one. You love this kit and you say, I'm going to subscribe every month. Now every company has their own rules and their own policies. And so not all craft subscriptions are the same. I like ones that are every other month, but I don't like ones that come every month and you don't know whether it's gonna be a really good kit that you like or one that you don't until you get it in the mail. So from that standpoint, they can be a real pain. What I do now is I have the Spellbinders Large Die of the Month kit. And what I like about that is you go on Spellbinders on YouTube the very first day of the month. You can see what that kit is. And if you don't like it, you could subscribe just in time to not get that kit. Or if you like that one, you could subscribe and get that kit. There's plenty of time to do that. Other uh, re craft regrets people have reported to me have been a cinch machine. I love mine, but other people haven't. Maybe they just didn't figure out how to use it. I don't know. Maybe they just don't like making journals. But a big one, the one that always comes to mind when I think of craft regret, not for me, but that I've heard many times is alcohol markers. Well, they, they say Copics, but alcohol markers in general, but Copics specifically. And the reason is, um, you see these beautifully colored images, which you really need to be able to color well to use gorgeous stamps, by the way. So anyway, they see these videos. It looks so easy. They think, I'm going to do that. And they don't just buy three or four markers to see if they can learn how to blend. They buy all of them. <laughs> and boy, do they end up regretting. So I got actually a really good deal on eBay once because crafters do that. They buy the entire set of Copics. They try to color one image, say, this is hard. They quit and they put them all up on eBay. So what are your craft regrets? I want to sh open this up and show you this. What is it you may ask? Uh, and again, impulse buy. Um, still, it's gorgeous. 
brand, Santoro brand, and it is kind of like um, for your planner, you know, it's like a planner essential kind of thing. It's got a ruler, a triangle, the plastic compass. Let me turn that over. It's got the eraser, pencil, pencil sharpener, and three gel pens, blue, red, and black. And the next one. And all these colored pencils. So there's 18 colors. And I just thought this would be so great to have in my bullet journaling kit and markers. And I believe they are, no, they're not exactly the same. I was thinking they might be the same colors, but they're not because we have white, two colors of brown, we have gray, so they don't overlap, but these are markers. You know, and did you know if you don't even use your markers, they might be dry when you first go to use them. So I just thought this was going to be great for bullet journaling and bullet journal journaling was a craft technique that I quickly burned out of. And so I ended up not using this. As you can see, like the eraser is still in its plastic. And every time that I get this out and think I should just sell it or donate it or something, I have a hard time doing that. And I'm, yeah, it's just so hard to part with. Look at these beautiful pull tags. Everything is so cute. But what are we going to do with all of these things? You know, are we really going to do the crafting? Are we really going to pull them out and use them? So your craft regret, are you going to de-stash and get rid of 100% of all of it? Are you going to just get rid of half of that item? Like for instance, I could just go through the stamps and dies and just like cut my stash in half and just stick to a certain few. But don't we fear that as soon as we get rid of it or donate it, we're going to want it and we actually do feel like that type of craft really speaks to us at that time in our life and now we want to do it and we regret giving it away so it is a real hard one it's very difficult but whatever you do be at peace with it don't argue with yourself back and forth you know maybe you bought all of your craft regret at a time when it really spoke to you and it brought pleasure and joy into your life to collect those things, but think of it as a collection, you know, um, non-craft collections. I used to collect those little wooden houses, you know, and put them on a shelf, and they were really cute, but when I lost interest, I lost interest entirely. Donated those to the thrift store, and I've never regretted it. What are your craft regrets? Let's bring them in the comments, and no judging back and forth. Let's not be judgmental about what others have as a craft regret. It might be something you love. Like I said, uh, I'm not a fan of Julie Nutting's uh, dolls for the most part, but I know that others just love them. So I, I, when I say they don't speak to me, that's what I mean. I just, I see the appeal. It doesn't inspire me to create, put it that way. And that doesn't mean that somebody is wrong. It doesn't mean someone's wrong for not liking Copics. It doesn't mean someone is wrong for not liking the cinch machine. You know, I love my cinch machine. You might not. So there you have it. Let's have a great discussion underneath and let's be kind to one another. Thank you for watching and please subscribe for more content.